Hey makers this is Dhruveen and in this episode I am going to talk about manage environment in power platform this is also another interesting topic from the new latest features so let's deep dive into that in this episode I am going to talk about what is manage environment and what are the different features that does it offer along with that we will be talking about how you can activate the manage environment for your environment and what are the different kind of considerations that you need to consider in your mind before you turn on this feature so let's deep dive into that first of all let me explain you the literal meaning of manage environment the manage environment is a suite of capabilities that allows admin to manage the power platform at the larger scale with more control less effort and more insights now what does this three term let me explain you practically in a while you can apply managed environment on any type of environment now let me explain you this term in a detail word so let's say for an example this is my power platform admin center you can see that here i have developer account production account trial account developer account sometimes we are creating sandbox environment as well okay but this all are our regular environment and now if you wanted to make any environment as a manage environment you can see here there is one more property called manage and it value is no most of the time when you enable this feature only at that time its type is yes okay so here i have one environment for which i change my type as yes so it is showing the yes value over here to me okay but what is the difference between this regular environment and manage environment in terms of licensing let me talk about that in a while let's say for an example you have sharepoint as your data source and you know that sharepoint is a standard connector for that it doesn't require any premium license or per app license okay now this is all about the regular environment if you create your application inside regular environment that is the case but let's say if you make any environment as manage environment which means that if you create even the standard connector application inside that environment every user who is accessing the app they require a premium licenses no matter if it is standard or premium connector it must require a license that is the biggest difference in with respect to licensing in between in the managed environment versus your regular environment so let's say for an example first of all let's see how we can make any environment as a managed environment let's say this is one environment i have and if i want to make that as a managed environment you simply need to click on enable managed environments and when you click on that it is already showing the same warning that i talk you once enabled user will need a power apps power automate or dynamics 365 license with premium user right to use the respective resource in this environment okay so it must require licenses now when you enable it it simply enable this environment as a managed environment okay but now i am not doing right now anything over here but now let me explain you what are the different features that does it offer so here i have already made one of this environment as a manage environment let me simply click on edit manage environment over here so here we can explore each individual feature does it offer so the first feature that offer here is limit sharing which is helping to reduce the risk by limiting how widely your canvas app is being shared with the other people by default it doesn't set any limit but let's say if you want to limit that your app should not be shared more than 20 people or 30 people or you want to exclude sharing with security groups you can simply enable this option if you want to limit the total individuals who can share the app you can simply set that as well so over here as an admin you can control this particular thing over here second important feature does it offer is solution checker enforcement now what is that let me explain you let's say for an example you are downloading some packages from the github repository and you are trying to import those packages inside your environment okay at this moment you don't know your environment uh that particular solution has any errors or any warning and you are simply importing it okay this feature is something which is specifically limit that thing 
it automatically verify the solution checker result for security and reliability issue before solution import. Here, there are three different levels over here. None. None means, let's say for an example, you are allowing everyone who is a part of that environment to import any solution without any enforcement of uh, error checking. Like even if there is a warning or error, it will allow to import. Okay. Second level is warm level, which means that it will warn you but with that it will also send the notification to the admin as well but it will not completely blocking the import process so it still allow you to import that solution and the last level here is block which means that whatever solution you have downloaded even if it has any warning or any error it will not allow you to import anything and along with that it will send out the email notification to the admin as well now over here it also facilitate one more thing let's say if you want to receive notification only during the block time you can simply check this so during warning time it will not sending the notification but i would prefer take this out so every time you will receive a notification from here now third important feature does it offer is usage insights now this is one of the important feature right now we most of the time we are need to additionally configure our center of excellence or coe starter kit for this kind of analytics now it comes up everything natively over here it will send out the adoption insight like top application or flow which are available into this environment and sending the weekly digest email to the tenant admin also it allows you to send out also it facilitates you to set the more additional recipient as well over here so let's say apart from your admin you want to send out that email to other people you simply click on that and it is opening this kind of pop-up where you can add any additional email address and those people will also receive weekly digest every week now what type of insight does it offer let me show you that as well so basically it is sending you this kind of email where you can see active apps flows or active app users throughout that entire week also you can see the detail insights about which are the resources which require cleanup which means that it is showing you the last launch time if any of the stuff over here having very previous years or a very old last launch date it means that you need to clean up those resources so it will showing you this kind of insight as well also it will show you the most popular app most uh, popular flow as well over here okay so this kind of insight does it offer then fourth important feature does it offer is maker welcome content so over here you can add any content in markdown language over here now what happen here is uh, you are very new into your power platform and whenever your user opening up that particular environment so here i am and here i'm opening my power pages dev environment and when i open that specific environment for the first time it is showing me this kind of pop-up with all the important links and guideline and that will guide users when they are coming here for the very first time over here so you can add that kind of notes inside your make call welcome content then there is a section called data policies so here you can configure the different data policies for this environment so this is nothing but the dlp policies it's a huge topic but over here you can uh, configure those dlp policies underneath that specific environments over here so these are all the important features apart from that it also support out of the box deployment pipeline as well I will talk about manage environments deployment pipeline soon into some upcoming episodes. But yeah, this is all about the manage environment. So basically it is helping more for the administrative perspective within one single place. You can manage your entire stuff. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, hit thumbs up, subscribe my channel. And if you are looking for any paid consultation, website link is available on the channel cover homepage. And don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.